Welcome back to Mod U. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today we're going to be scavenging parts to hopefully build a pedal. Alright, so let's get into it. So, I've got a bunch of parts up here. Now what are these parts from? And what the heck am I doing with them basically? Well, what we've got here is a blender from Walmart. And the blender did work. Um, actually the blender worked just fine. The jar um, broke at the bottom and started leaking and with these $15 blenders you really can't replace the jar. They don't sell replacement jars. So you have to replace the whole blender and for $15 why not? So what does that mean for us gearheads? Well that means free parts, free resistors, free capacitors, free wires. Um, these are actually solid core wire so that's perfect for any type of um, circuitry pedals whatever perfect we've got a whole bunch of copper wire right here um, higher gauge copper wire right here and then a smaller gauge copper wire right there so lots of great stuff here now not all of it is useful a lot of it is these wires right here absolutely perfect now these two these appear to be braided core, but these two right here are solid core wires. Uh, these wires right here could easily be pulled off of here and used on a breadboard, no problem whatsoever. Um, but it's just amazing just the components that you have inside of a blender that you can reuse for musical equipment, um, especially effects pedals. Right here we've got several resistors, we've got a transistor, and then we've got a capacitor right there. A lot of goo on here, um, so that can cause some complications, but maybe it'll melt back down with a soldering iron when I take all these off. Um, now I'm sure there's mixed opinions out there as far as reusing electronic components, and I really don't see a big deal behind it. I've not tested these parts to make sure they work. The blender actually worked before I took it apart and kind of borderline trashed it, as you can see right there, and as you can see right there. The blender did work, no problem at all, but when we got a new blender we no longer need the base on this one. So I would say, my opinion, as long as these components work, as long as they're not burned out and nothing happened to this blender, I don't see any reason whatsoever why you can't reuse components like this. Um, if you go online and purchase um, resistors, these little bitty resistors right there will go between um, 20 and 40 cents a piece, which isn't much, but I've got a bunch right here that don't cost me anything. So, great supply of parts and goods right there. Um, there's even some things that came out that I don't have a specific use for at this moment, but you never know. Um, anytime I take anything apart at all, I always keep the leftover screws. You never know when you can use those. Come in handy no matter what project you're doing. Little springs like that keep those they can be so so handy and with the event of a blender these little carbon brushes they can become handy at some point for another project as well so I always like to keep all these little parts because you just never ever know when you might use them now this is a Walmart blender what in the world does it have to do with musical equipment well what doesn't it have to do um, yeah, it's a blender, it's not a pedal, it's not an amp or anything like that, but um, electronics are pretty much the same no matter what the application. They're just used in a little bit of a different way. So an effects pedal, an amplifier, is going to be made up of nothing but resistors, capacitors, transistors, integrated circuits, wires, etc., etc. They all use the exact same parts and components, they're just used in a little bit different way and they're used to achieve a different end result. A blender uses these parts to provide power to spin that right there which turns a blade and blends your food. Whereas a effects pedal uses these exact same parts in a different order and a different way to alter a, um, a sound and make a particular sound, make something sound different. Um, so. Even though they're completely different items, they use the exact same parts and components. A computer is going to use pretty much all the same components that an amplifier or a pedal will use. They'll just use them in a different order. They'll wire them up in a different way to achieve a different end result. Um, as you can see right here, the PCB 
very, very popular no matter what the electronic is, whether it's a blender or a clock radio or an effects pedal. They're all going to use the same um, kind of technology, same parts, same everything, same PCB, same resistors and capacitors. So, a lot of people would look at this pile right here and just see a bunch of junk. I look at this pedal and I see huh, maybe a fuzz pedal. Who knows? So, that is just a quick tidbit I had for you today. Just some fun, interesting ways um, that you can come across parts um, to, to build projects or even repair anything that's gone wrong. Maybe you've had a pedal that's quit working. Maybe you've got a breadboard that you need one more jumper wire to. That right there would be a perfect jumper wire. There's just so many different parts and so many different things you can use these for. Um, things that you already have laying around your house you can do guitar repairs with. You can build new um, projects with them. So whenever you have something like that that quits working, it burns out, maybe a clock radio that you um, drop off a table and it breaks, don't throw those away. Take them apart, scavenge those parts. You never know what you can use those for. All right, thanks so much for tuning in today. That's all I wanted to talk about. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure and like and comment below and also subscribe to the channel. Um, also hit that bell notification so you can be, you can receive a notification anytime a new video comes out. So thanks again. Have a great day.